15 Things You Didn't Know About Jennifer Aniston. Number 15, Born of the Stars. Jennifer Aniston was born on February 11, 1969 in Sherman Oaks, California. Her birth name is actually Jennifer Joanna Anastasikis, but she changed it to make it easier for people to remember and pronounce it. Being a star was written in her DNA for sure, as both of her parents are actors. John Aniston is well known for his part in the daytime soap opera Days of Our Lives, in which he played a character named Victor Kuriakis. Jennifer started exhibiting an interest in acting around age 11, and because of this, her parents encouraged her to take drama classes in high school. Number 14, The Portrait of Talent. When Jennifer Aniston was young, another hobby about which she was passionate was painting. She practiced as much as she had the chance, and the expression practice makes perfect, was definitely an evidence for the youth. When she was just 11 years old, one of her works was actually put on display in perhaps the most prestigious art exhibits in the world, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. This is an experience Aniston says stuck with her forever, and she continues to paint in her free time to this day. Number 13. Dark Tendencies It's hard to believe when you picture the strikingly beautiful and perpetually sunny Jennifer Aniston, whom we all know and love, but apparently when she was in her teenage years, she went through a bit of a goth phase. Don Running pale, ghost-like makeup and dark raccoon-style eyeliner long before Avril Lavigne made it cool, Aniston also wore head-to-toe black and did her best to resemble a vampire. We can only say that we're grateful she saw the light and came out of her shell, so to speak. Number 12. Distant Shores Though she was born in California, Jennifer's family moved around a lot. Her parents both had Greek ancestry, so the family decided to move to Greece at one point. They remained abroad for a little over a year before returning to the States, but Jen's time away has stuck with her ever since. Many years later, when she was married to fellow acting talent Brad Pitt, he apparently took Greek lessons as a romantic gesture toward that year of her life. Aniston considers this one of the highlights of their marriage. Number 11. Take That to the Bank Jennifer's big break in the acting world came when she was cast as Rachel Green in the hit TV show Friends. Originally auditioning for the role of Monica, Aniston convinced the show's producers that she'd actually make a much better Rachel. They agreed but told her that she'd need to lose about 30 pounds before being considered for the role. If this seems harsh, take a moment to consider that Aniston would go on to be paid over $1 million per episode, making her one of the highest paid actresses ever at the time. Number 10. Bad Hair Day Most fans of the show Friends know that Rachel's hair was always incredibly sexy. The hairstyles she wore throughout the run of the show were imitated for years afterward, even to this day in many cases, but the star apparently didn't like many of them. In fact, for her most iconic Rachel haircut, Aniston adamantly opposed the style. She even said that it was the ugliest haircut she'd ever seen. Although fans ate it up, the stylist who cut her hair for the show much later admitted that he was stoned while he performed the job. Number 9. Positively Horrified Despite being a TV star after Friends, Aniston didn't make the shift to the silver screen for some time after the show ended. This is due in part to a previous experience she had on the big screen. After starring in 1993's Leprechaun, a cheesy horror movie, even by the standards of the time, Jennifer nearly gave up acting for good. She was so traumatized by the commercial failure of the role that she gave, strong consideration to the idea that acting wasn't for her after all. She obviously decided to give it another shot, luckily, but she has since claimed that had she not continued with acting, she would have pursued a career as a therapist. Number 8. Blowing Raspberries Although she made big bucks, and tons of fans during her stint on Friends, not everyone was a fan of Aniston. In 1997, she was nominated to receive a Golden Raspberry Award for the Worst New Star. The Raspberry Awards, also known as the Razzies, are a tongue-in-cheek awards ceremony which aims to be the opposite of the Oscars, recognizing only the worst talents in film and television. For sure, Aniston was weeping into her huge stacks of money when she received the news of her honorable mention. Number 7. Man of the Year? It seems that Aniston's career has been filled with record-breaking performances, awards, and accolades. In 2005, Jen was the first woman to ever be honored with in the Man of the Year edition of the popular men's magazine GQ. She shared the award with Vince Vaughn and rapper 50 Cent, but it's unlikely anyone with the pulse remembers those guys being in the magazine. Posing topless with the coy expression and carefully placed arms on the cover, all eyes were definitely on Jennifer. Number 6. The Limited by the Sky It's not well known, but Jennifer Aniston claims to be mortally afraid of flying in an airplane. This is apparently a fear she's had for quite some time, but it hasn't stopped her from traveling all over the world for her various acting gigs. The star says that one thing she does each time she flies to help her overcome her fear is to reach out with her right foot and tap the outside of the plane on her way in. She claims that this was explained to be a lucky gesture by someone close when she was young, and since then it's always been something that she's done. We can only hope that the gods of luck continue to favor the starlet.
Number five, brains before beauty. Many of the most successful names in Hollywood have such lofty net worths because they diversify their investments as well as on how they spend their time. Aniston is no exception to this rule, and if anything proves that she's brilliant as well as gorgeous in this regard. In addition to being a talented actress, the career star also owns and operates a production company called Echo Films and has also created a line of perfumes. Currently, she's investigating the possibility of creating a line of fragrances specifically for men. She's also the spokesperson for Aveeno skincare products. As if that all weren't enough, Aniston co-owns the hair care product brand Living Proof. Talk about a busy schedule. Number four, caught with embarrassment. One of the tricks Jennifer has spoken highly of for retaining her beautiful physique is spending time in a sauna whenever possible. This is something she says she's done for many years and has always praised it as a method of keeping fit and toned. While it would seem that some of her fans have taken her advice, Jennifer once recounted a tale of meeting a fan in a sauna while she was completely naked. The fan recognized the beautiful starlet and definitely got an eyeful while asking her for an autograph. The embarrassed Aniston appeased the fan and were guessing she was grateful for the steam concealing what it could of her body, not to mention her red face. Number 3. Scent from Heaven Though some attractive actresses will tell you that their favorite scents are that of a flower, a candle, or some manner of perfume, Aniston has a different take on the question. When it was posed to her during an interview, the actress boldly stated that her favorite scent in the whole world was the smell of her man, saying that there is no better scent in the world than the man you love. This comes as a bit of a surprise statement from the generally reserved actress, but it's sure to get your senses tingling. Number 2. A Mother of an Argument Aniston's parents played a major role in her upbringing. Despite this fact, unfortunately, Aniston became estranged from her mother in 1999. Disliking how she perceived Jennifer's fame had changed her, the young star's mother published a tell-all memoir in a trashy tabloid. The memoir called Her Mother and Daughter to Friends, supposedly outlining how Jen's attitude towards friends and family had changed in light of her fame, Jennifer wholeheartedly rejected every part of the tabloid's article and discontinued her relationship with her mother as a result. Aniston didn't even invite her mother to her wedding with Brad Pitt. However, Jennifer reports that as of 2005, she and her mother were once again on speaking terms, but that they were never as close as they once was. Her mother, Nancy Dow, passed away on May 25th of 2016. Number 1. Uncommon Intelligence Despite being well known for her intelligence as well as her beauty, Jennifer Aniston says that she doesn't read much. Rather than an aversion to entertainment in the written form, the actress says that she has struggled all her life with dyslexia. She even says that originally she thought she was just stupid as a child and spent years thinking all of her peers were far brighter than she was until she was finally diagnosed with the common reading disorder. Subscribe for more videos to come. 15 Things You Didn't Know About Jennifer Aniston Number 15. Born of the Stars Jennifer Aniston was born on February 11, 1969 in Sherman Oaks, California. Her birth name is actually Jennifer Joanna Anastasikis but she changed it to make it easier for people to remember and pronounce it. Being a star was written in her DNA for sure, as both of her parents are actors. John Aniston is well known for his part in the daytime soap opera Days of Our Lives, in which he played a character named Victor Kuriakis. Jennifer started exhibiting an interest in acting around age 11, and because of this, her parents encouraged her to take drama classes in high school. Number 14. The Portrait of Talent When Jennifer Aniston was young, another hobby about which she was passionate was painting. She practiced as much as she had the chance, and the expression, practice makes perfect, was definitely an evidence for the youth. When she was just 11 years old, one of her works was actually put on display in perhaps the most prestigious art exhibits in the world, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. This is an experience Aniston says stuck with her forever, and she continues to paint in her free time to this day. Number 13. Dark Tendencies It's hard to believe when you picture the strikingly beautiful and perpetually sunny Jennifer Aniston, whom we all know and love, but apparently when she she was in her teenage years, she went through a bit of a goth phase, donning pale, ghost-like makeup and dark raccoon-style eyeliner long before Avril Lavigne made it cool. Aniston also wore head-to-toe black and did her best to resemble a vampire. We can only say that we're grateful she saw the light and came out of her shell, so to speak. Number 12. Distant Shores Though she was born in California, Jennifer's family moved around a lot. Her parents both had Greek ancestry, so the family decided to move to Greece at one point. They remained abroad for a little over a year before returning to the States, but Jen's time away has stuck with her ever since. Many years later, when she was married to fellow acting talent Brad Pitt, he apparently took Greek lessons as a romantic gesture toward that year of her life. Aniston considers this one of the highlights of their marriage. Number 11. Take That to the Bank Jennifer's big break in the acting world 
came when she was cast as Rachel Green in the hit TV show Friends. Originally auditioning for the role of Monica, Aniston convinced the show's producers that she'd actually make a much better Rachel. They agreed, but told her that she'd need to lose about 30 pounds before being considered for the role. If this seems harsh, take a moment to consider that Aniston would go on to be paid over $1 million per episode, making her one of the highest paid actresses ever at the time. Number 10. Bad Hair Day Most fans of the show Friends know that Rachel's hair was always incredibly sexy. The hairstyles she wore throughout the run of the show were imitated for years afterward, even to this day in many cases, but the star apparently didn't like many of them. In fact, for her most iconic Rachel haircut, Aniston adamantly opposed the style. She even said that it was the ugliest haircut she'd ever seen. Although fans ate it up, the stylist who cut her hair for the show much later admitted that he was stoned while he performed the job. Number 9. 